Hello, in tonight's video, I have the Covadonga. I don't know what type this is. I think it's a Robusto or a, something like that. It's a fat Robusto looking cigar right here. Covadonga cigars, Cuba. Being crafted by Cuban artisans. It is a firm pack. I can't do it. It is a firm pack, medium pack, but firm too. Chocolate hay on the finish. German chocolate cake on the foot. I'm gonna get it going right here. Very beautiful draw. Very nice, loose, beautifulness. The wind is picking up. It's going to be very difficult here to light this with the wind the way it is. It smells nice so far. This was $3.99 right here. There was not much money at all to get this. Very nice draw. Perfection. The burn is even right now. I taste a diesel-y bitterness, but a smooth bitterness of chocolateness. Christ. Fucking wind everywhere I look. The light is horrible where I'm at. Retrohale of nice leather and chocolate. Leather and chocolate on the on the retrohale. Nice even burn. This might be the most even burning cigar so far that I've had from this company. So I'm going to shut it off and give an update in a little bit. Everyone, I am back. I am now up to here. The burn line canoeing a little bit. Not as bad as the other one, though. I still have a little bit of a bit of taste. It's a very hot burn, this cigar. Very hot burn. But the flavor's holding up okay. It just has a very bitter note to it. Bitter outside ring to this. Not way too bitter, but it's bitter enough. It's like a harsh pumpernickel toast kind of taste with some leather, espresso notes, and chocolate. But a definite pumpernickel toast type of a outline so picture how that would taste like partially burnt pumpernickel toast um, it's trying to even itself out so it's a nighttime cigar I would say absolutely a nighttime cigar retro hail is musty this White floral notes, leather, earth. So it's, it's got the, it's trying to even itself out here. It's evened out nicely actually just now. It's a little windy too. That helps the burn line a little bit more.
but it is holding up pretty decent. Holding up. Retro hail floral. Floral tastes a little bit of wide and earth and all that stuff in here. The bitterness could go away. It's cigars like this that could surprise you. They could smooth it out as they go. Even if they started a little bit hard, you know. But this is a full bodied smoke. I bet you it's the same tobacco as their original COVID Arga, which is like a ham rolled looking cigar too. This just has a fancier label on it. Like it's an Alec Bradley or something. I'd say it's an imitation. It's an imitation. It's kind of, it's going well. I'm not at the halfway point yet, but almost there. So I will give an update as this goes. Okay, nearly a half hour in, and it's time to remove the beard. I, I'm getting going through this one. Maybe it's the wind pushing it, too. The amount of wind here, the breeze, the overall feel. It's making this go pretty quickly, despite how harsh this might have been. It's got kind of a smooth finish, despite how it hasn't been as smooth as I would have liked it to have been has a finish to it that is um, that is just not really affected me too much you know you could say it's a half hour in I'm going through it pretty quickly but not really trying to rush it either it's just naturally burning faster and it's still staying pretty even Here, put this up against here just in case. We hear some assholes on the road right here. Okay, I'm moving roughly two weeks from now, so that's good. I'm celebrating, kind okay, of moving, so. The taste is still like a pump and nickel toast coating to it, like it's been. Same taste overall to it. Not much has changed. It's not very oily. This might be a new cigar. This hasn't been out that long. Probably not on the shelves as long as some that I have had. But somehow, someway, one of these will get plume on them eventually if people don't buy them all up and see people seem to buy them just enough but not quite enough but I taste some earth some creamy notes in here now too heavy espresso and chocolate kind of I'm gonna blow it out Whoop.
nice smooth taste coming in now. Nice bit of spice in here. Creamy notes are coming back. And the burn line's overall even. It's going well. It has a nice earthy, nutty taste. A little bit of charcoal, pumpernickel toast, leather, and creaminess. I'll leave it at that for now. It's roughly been about an hour long, almost an hour, not quite. I'm down to here. I'd like to say about over 50 minutes, 53 minutes, I'd like to say. To the end now. It's getting a little harsh on me. It's, it's burning very hot. It's burning hot. I'd say. I'd say it's an okay cigar. Would I get it again even for the price? No, I wouldn't. I'd pass and I'd use the money to get something else. Personal opinion. It smokes kind of like the original Covidonga in this size. With the more colored label, but the original. It doesn't have a red label like this one. This isn't the original, but it burns like it. It kind of feels like it. So, COVID August cigars, I'd say, produces okay cigars. I wouldn't say they're the greatest at all. Unless maybe you put some time on them, you age them kind of thing. They're not really the greatest. They're okay. This one kept an even burn. No complaints there, but flavor-wise, just kind of blah. Some strong notes for sure, but not the most comfortable cigars that I've smoked. That makes sense. It's a floral, heavy, pumpernickel, coffee ground, espresso, with musty taste, maybe. It tastes classic taste, and it's not a bad smoke, but would I get it again? No. I wouldn't, personally. I'd put it towards something else. I'm almost done. It's burning hot to the end. It's been burning hot a lot of the way, actually. But I've been trying to control it a little better. I mean, the cigar's not getting leathery enough, and the the leaf isn't, and the bind is not really getting leathery. The wrap is not getting leathery, really. In, as far as feel, you know how if it shrivels up and it's like wrinkly old man skin or leather. Not the case here. There's leather taste in here, but the the wrapper and binder they're not shriveling up really. So that's good. It's not giving me a very hard time as far as overall burn goes. But that's my final review. It's, it's a good cigar in a pinch. I wouldn't bank your life on it though and I wouldn't go crazy buying a whole lot of these and if you buy a box of them I feel sorry for you. Hopefully a lot of people didn't buy whole boxes of these you know hopefully they didn't so I'm gonna leave the review with that. Not the greatest cigar. Tolerable but not the greatest. Okay bye bye.